For most of us out there, being rich just means having a great deal of good old-fashioned cash, and the purpose of having a lot of it is to, well, keep it until you can spend it. As a result, we common folk only collect money to eventually lose it all over again. But the thing is, there's a whole other world out there. You see, the higher up the economic ladder you go, not only do people keep less and less of their assets as cash, but the assets they do have actually end up making them richer and richer by just sitting there. So whereas 10 grand in your savings account might sit there until you spend it on 10 grand worth of stuff, $100,000 in a rich person's savings account will not only turn into something like $110,000 in a few years, allowing them to buy stuff without even touching the actual money, but given enough time, could effectively allow them to be both richer and have more spending power. Luckily for us, we are not excluded from such opportunities. So if you're interested in finding out how you too can invest in such assets and eventually join the elite yourself, here are three asset classes that are making the rich people of the world richer. Number one, inflation-resistant assets. Now, one of the reasons a lot of people have been worried about their savings and why we decided to make this video is the record high rate of inflation that we've seen during the past couple of months. Rates which, if nothing changes, will continue to rise. As a result, and by extension, people who hold a lot of cash will suffer a huge depreciation in value, and that causes people who have a lot of money to start to worry. As Michael Sonnenfeld, chairman and founder of Tiger21, an investment network for entrepreneurs with $10 million to $1 billion of personal net worth, has said, as all investors should be, the ultra-wealthy are concerned about inflation and looking to preserve assets in 2022. And what do rich people try to do when their assets are under threat? That's right, they move to safer pastures. In this case, commodities and assets are historically known to resist inflation and, in some cases, even benefit from it. So in the coming few months, we'll see a lot of rich people try to turn their assets into these inflation-resistant forms so that not only do their fortunes remain safe, but if they're smart, see an increase in value as a result of inflation. So what are some of these forms? Well, the most obvious and the one most generally considered to be the safest and most profitable route is real estate. But think about it. One of the ways that inflation manifests in daily life is in the form of increased fares. And while in stuff like food and travel, that increase is barely noticeable at worst and practically ignorable at best. In the case of real estate, stuff like property prices, rents, and maintenance costs, everything skyrockets as soon as there is even the mention of inflation on the news. Not only does that mean high profits for people who own real estate, but unlike other business owners who suffer a loss in times like these, property owners don't have anything to lose. And the best part is, you don't even have to own real estate yourself in order to take advantage of its nature. Instead, an increasingly popular method of putting your money into real estate is with the help of Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs. REITs are companies that invest in different kinds of real estate, everything from commercial spaces like malls and hospitals to good old-fashioned living spaces like apartments and condos. Now, the thing that makes real estate viable in times of inflation is the ability of the owners to change the cost whenever they want in order to match the devalued currency. By extension, any industry which can charge its prices on the fly without making a dent in its profits like retail also remains stable. So another way to make sure that your money does not devalue is to invest in the equities and stocks of such companies. These include companies like Amazon, Apple, Uber, Airbnb, and Walmart, and even streaming services. So to summarize, if you want to get rich and keep your money safe, you need to follow the example of the rich and keep a good amount of your cash in the form of stable investments like these. That being said, inflation is not going to last forever, and in general times of peace, such investment funds will not turn a particularly desirable profit. And that is where the next asset on our list comes in, because as anyone who knows anything about investment will tell you, the key to a successful and profitable asset portfolio is to have a good mix of both stable and volatile investments. By the way, we're on a mission to inspire people like yourself to make generational wealth, so make sure to subscribe if that sounds like you. Number two, cryptocurrencies. Where real estate and commodities are safe, there is no asset category as volatile and potentially profitable as cryptocurrencies. Now, a lot of you might not have expected to see crypto on this list, knowing just how quickly it can turn from a gold mine to a literal disaster. But the thing is that with the crypto industry growing as much as it has over the past few years, not only has it gotten easier to navigate the cryptocurrency world, but now it's possible for professionals to actually use it for their gain. And among these uses, besides impressing your friends, is crypto's role as an alternative to gold. You see, one of the things that have kept gold such a prominent player in the world of assets is its limited supply. 
Any company can create as many stocks as it wants, and the same goes for real estate to a certain degree. You might not be able to create land out of thin air, but the value of that land can change drastically. By comparison, all the gold in the world is going to stay the same, and it's going to be worth the same in terms of gold. This makes gold one of the most stable and desirable commodities out there. Only now has it started to gain some competition in the form of, drumroll please, cryptocurrency. You see, like gold, cryptocurrency also has a limited supply, so its value is controlled entirely by the market and cannot be changed based on a company's decision, making it an independent, safe, and very desirable investment. Add to that the one thing that crypto has but gold does not, that is, value which can increase dramatically over a very short period of time, leading to incredible profits. And you have one of the reasons why the rich are clamoring to buy more and more cryptocurrency. This finally brings us to the last and most shocking asset category on our list. Number three, renewables. Unless you've been paying very close attention to market trends, this might come as a shock to you. And that wouldn't be unwarranted, because the thing is, if you told someone that renewables are going to be the future 10 years ago, they would have laughed at you. But will climate breakdown looming on the horizon, new legislation against carbon fuels passing every day, and most importantly, an unprecedented advancement in renewable technology, it's becoming clearer than ever that the future is going to be built on renewable energy. As a result, those looking to make money really long-term are all slowly but surely putting their money into this industry. This includes everything from Tesla stocks to companies that are actively trying to create profitable renewable energy plants. And don't think for one second that this is going to be a niche market, because if anyone has studied the history of the present world's richest people, you will know the influence that oil has had on the economic world. So just like the Rockefellers and Sheikhs of the past and the present have built empires using their oil fortunes, the rich people of the world are hoping to do the same in the future with renewable energy. And well, that's really all there is to it. Of course, there are still many more asset forms like equity funds, dividend funds, and other stocks. But those are generally speaking well-documented and easy to study. But the three kinds of assets we talked about today are, in our opinion, going to be the thing that makes the difference between you being just another part-time investor and you being the world's next self-made millionaire. And, if you play your cards right, you might just come out on the better side of those options. And if you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And be sure to like this video to let the YouTube algorithm know you'd like to see more videos like this one.